All right, my peoples, June 22nd, 2023. Now, I took three bitches out of this garden because I seen thrips and this is unusual. But I'm thinking those thrips were um, overwintering in the ground over here. See that? Because last year, late in the season, I got them thrips. And that's what I think was happening. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna spray these bitches down with some neem. I already did some hydrogen peroxide. So I've isolated these two girls, put them to the side. This is, ah, uh, bitch, what are you? Cinderella 99 and Granddaddy Purple. Like they're clean now. They don't look super infected because they never were. But I got my neem oil here. I already cleaned them out with hydrogen peroxide and a little bit of dish soap. Now I'm gonna just drench them. Just give them a nice little drenching. And you can only do this when they're um, when they're vegging. You, do not do this when your bitches are flowering because you're gonna have the worst smoke ever. So you wanna avoid that. But we're just hooking them up right here. Give it a few more pumps. Happy fucking days. And that's it. We're just gonna get on the undersides here. Spray them up. It's only these two girls. These thrips aren't gonna like this environment at all. I'll be honest, I don't know where they came from, whether they overwintered on the ground and they made their way up, or I put a couple sticks that I got from the ground to hold them up, and that could have been it. So I got rid of those sticks just in case that's where they came from. But you can see she's really, really healthy and green. Neem oil, I never recommend during flowering. But right now, it's an absolute fantastic preventative measure to get rid of these girls. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray them up right now. I'm not gonna bore you. It's gonna take me like half hour to do everything and I'll get back to you when everything's done. All right, I sprayed these bitches down. These two got a serious spray down and um, you know, I already cleaned them out. So we're gonna see what they look like in you know a week or two. I'm gonna remain proactive and um, I'm telling you this because like, this is when you you can do it. You can't be doing this when, you're, when, when, when your plants are flowering. Anyways, here's what's going on here. These babies are absolute cannons. They're huge right now. None of them had thrips. Just those two that I showed you had some thrips. It wasn't an infestation, but being pro is what makes the difference from a successful grow and a grow where you're just lazy and you don't take action. This one I also sprayed down because I don't know about this dirt here. So I gave it a nice healthy spray down. Although I didn't see any thrips on her, um, I'm worried because I don't know where they came from. They obviously came from somewhere. I'm not too sure from where at this stage in the grow. So this right here is Gorilla Glue.
She's a clone. And um, the granddaddy purple over here, that bitch right there, she's a clone as well. Everything else is from Seeds. I just misted these because they don't have an issue, but since I went out and got some neem oil, I thought, why not? There's obviously an issue somewhere here. And if they found a place to feed, they're going to find these babies here too. But the garden is looking fantastic. This one, geez, she's really eager, isn't she, huh? Oh yeah, she's eager. Uh, if they look a little droopy, it's, um, I sprayed them down with some neem oil. So yeah, they're a little heavy right now, but I would never resort to neem oil in the flowering stage and you know what a week or two before flowering you can give them a final spray down last year i didn't spray anything you can go back to my videos from last year none of them got sprayed with anything i started getting a little bit of powdery mildew and thrips at the end of the season but i wasn't worried about that because it was right at the end ah uh, right here what we have is Power Africa MK Ultra Fast. She's already starting to flower, so I'm thinking that this bitch is actually an auto flower. Because it's June 22nd. You should not be flowering. So she's starting to flower. I'm gonna have one beautiful plant nice and early in the season. And I'm happy about that. The rest just doing a little walk through. I might have gotten a couple of seeds uh, mixed up because one of the chocolate skunks, when I compare it to the other, and I rub the stock, it doesn't smell like the other one. So it looks like either I mixed up the seeds or I mixed up something somewhere. Regardless, these bitches are looking great. Remember uh, a couple weeks ago, I told you that I'm excited to see what this Cindy 99 is gonna be doing? Like she was so tiny then. She was the one that had some kind of genetic mutation where she grew two colas. I didn't even top her. I got two plants in one here, folks. Happy fucking days, right? Yeah, we can't complain about that. Let's see what happens with that. She's, she's special. I think she's gonna be special. She will be special. Just because she's retarded like that, I think she's gonna be special. Let's see what happens when, when we actually harvest her, God willing. But yeah, it's a forest, right? We got a forest. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough space here because these guys are gonna be cannons. Absolute monsters, beasts. But so far so good and the reason I wanted to make the video here is A to update you and B to let you know that Thrips attacked two of my plants here. So I took care of them. No more Thrips. I cleaned them out with a little bit of just a very mild solution of dish, uh, dish soap and um, lukewarm water. And um, I just took all the thrips that I could find. There weren't that many. And um, cleaned them out, went out, grabbed some neem oil. I um, diluted the neem oil, uh, 100 mils of neem oil to 900 mils of water. And I sprayed these girls down. Either that or I would have had to come out and keep cleaning them. So I'm thinking that this is going to stop what's happening. But you know what? If I see like the infestation comes back, I'll give it another try. And then if that doesn't work, I have no problems coloring. Them. I can kill this bitch and I can kill this bitch too. I have no problems with that, but I'm going to give them a chance. And I think they will survive. And let's see what happens. I'll, I'm going to update y'all in two weeks. We'll see what happens. Um, but I'm confident and positive that I can take care of this issue because I caught it so early. 
it wasn't an infestation and now that they got the neem on them that oil is nasty stuff like you do not want to smoke that you better spray that only in veg do not spray that shit during flower because you're gonna have some nasty buds to smoke remember that no neem oil during flower unless you can isolate it to the leaves and it's late in the season but i would probably not do it and just leave the thrips or whatever pests you have to keep going if you're you know nearing the end of your 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 season nearing your harvest but here we are we got cinderella 99 cinderella crossed with pineapple we got chocolate skunk we got wedding cakes we got granddaddy purple we got gorilla glue we got some amico lucky dips which are gonna be some sort of a cookie um we have jack hair glueys um we have durban knights we have um power africa mk ultra fast which i can see she just seems to have started the flower here uh, i wasn't expecting that but whatever probably an auto flower but for an auto flower she would have she's got like a great size and doing her stretch so let's see what happens with that that's going to be interesting as well um what else do we have here folks like, i can't remember uh, uh, yeah i think i think those are the draws in the description in the keywords you're going to be able to see exactly what i got but i think i went through them all so happy days i'm checking out i love y'all I'm gonna update you in a week or two just so you guys can see how I take care of that thrip issue on those two plants and the one in the ground over there. And um, I hope you learned something, you know, between me and my partner. We have like 30 plus, almost 40 years of experience. So we don't fuck around. And I hope your grows are going well and I hope um, you can learn something and that's why I'm doing this documenting this grow because you can see what's going on I bought oh yeah I forgot to mention yeah see these bins bought them from a neighboring city um, it's closer to me than my own town over here so I bought them from a neighboring city I mean these these 22 gallon recycling bins are absolutely fantastic to grow in your backyard i mean yeah sure you could put them in the ground and you can amend your soil and do whatnot but right now at least they're somewhat mobile even if when they get bigger you could still move them around if you run into an issue but i recommend these they already come with holes in the bottom like i hope the city doesn't come around and think i'm stealing neighbors fucking recycling bins <laughs> that's hilarious isn't it yeah anyways you see what they're like now you saw what they're like two weeks ago i'm gonna update in uh i'm gonna update y'all uh, a week or two from now I'm gonna try to stay on top of this and I want you guys to see like how I do it because I want you to grow some proper medicine for you and your families so much love take care and we'll see you shortly uh, I see a beautiful butterfly here she's gone all right take care y'all looks like the butterfly likes the neem oil so she's probably a good one take care guys much love I'm out.